Thank you. 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 One nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right. You love the agenda? I move that we approve the agenda for Monday, December 9th, 2019. Second. Second. Councilor Reynolds? Yes. Councilor Rossi? Yes. Councilor Yes. Councilor Pellier? Yes. Um, before... I call people to address the council. I just want to thank Main Street for the light parade and for everybody that was out there. Um, I thought it was a pretty good turnout. And I had a blast other than tearing my cap. <laughs> that, that steel horse was a little bit much, I guess. But uh, I just want to say thank you guys. That came off well. You're welcome. Very well. Thank you very much. Um, Chris Royball, you're up. Good evening. I just wanted to give everybody some exciting news. We uh, actually have the American Pickers coming to grants in February. And so if you have people that have junk, or you have junk that you want them to go through, please call them and make a reservation for them to come. Also, on Sunday, we will be having a casting call for a movie that will be filmed here in February. That will be at the Grants High School cafeteria. It's a senior project for some German students out of Stuttgart, Germany, and they'll be here about six weeks. And they're looking for 15 to 18 year old looking extras. It's about some young kids, and it's set in the 90s. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah, I told them you would be there. I'll, I'll, I'll shave. <laughs> Anything else, Chris? That's it. Thank you very much. Eileen, you want to speak at, at the hearing because that's the next thing? <coughs> you want to speak now? Go ahead. Uh, better yet, who's here for Mr. Elkins? Anybody here for Mr. Elkins? You're here for Mr. Elkins. Go ahead, Eileen. Come on up. This is the hearing, okay? We're now holding a, a hearing for a beer and wine wholesale liquor license. Go for it. Good evening, Mayor and Council. Um, Eileen Chavez Darbo with Siegel and Communities Economic Development Foundation. Um, I'm here to ask you to approve the application for a liquor license for Elkins Enterprises. Um, my understanding is that he needs the license in order for him to accomplish his goal of wholesale distribution, uh, of crafting and wholesaling um, his beer. And so uh, I am working with them. Uh, through the Economic Development Department. As you know, craft beer is a huge industry in the state of New Mexico, and the Economic Development Department has incentives to help crafters with their, uh, with their business. And so we would like to see Mr. Elkins succeed, and it would be economic-based because he would be distributing his uh, product, hopefully outside of the county, bringing new revenue into the county. So I would like to ask for you to approve the application. Um, Mr. Elkins could not be here tonight because he is in Las Vegas uh, at the NFR um, working up there. So he, uh, I spoke with his wife, and she knows that I'm here speaking on behalf of them to ask you to approve the application. Any questions for Eileen? No. no. I'll move to a motion to approve the wholesale liquor license for Elkins. Enterprises. I make a motion that we approve the uh, I second. Councilor Reynolds? Yes. yes. Councilor Vasquez, Councilor yes. Cerro, Councilor Paglia. Yes. Here Thank you. Public comment discussion <coughs> of our charter. Are we in compliance with our charter yet? We haven't done our, our final yeah. vote on it, have we? It had to be advertised for 15 days. Make sure we put it on January's. <laughs> First one in January, let's get that done so we can be in compliance. So that the record show we're not in compliance, but we're working towards it. Okay. Regular city council meeting minutes. I didn't see any corrections. Anybody else? Move to go through. Second. Councilor Reynolds? Yes. Councilor Boskin? Yes. Councilor Lucero? Yes. Councilor Palia? Yes. Water and wastewater PER. Consultation ready. 
Good evening, Council. Uh, my name's not Donald Hanamiel, but I'm filling in. He was uh, touch under the weather. And so, uh, good evening. We are uh, with uh, Wilson and Company. Brian Ambrogi is here to answer any technical questions. But Task Order 112119 is in regards to Wilson and Company accomplishing the task of a PER in the amount of $141,000. $844.02 with tax included. Uh, this is required in the USDA application and it is for the independent preliminary engineering report for the water system as well as the wastewater system. And so it's the next step in, in uh, uh, moving towards the bond uh, with, and, uh, and the USDA grant in doing major uh, water and wastewater improvements. Questions? City? No. Man? Ready? No. I'll entertain a motion, guys. I need the motion to approve. So 141,844.02, including tax. My second. And Councilor Reynolds? Yes. Councilor yes. Vasquez? Councilor Lucero? Yes. Councilor Paya? Yes. Thank, Thank you. you. We're going to go into closed session now for a few minutes. I don't know how long does it take, but we'll be out there. Entertain a motion to close, go to closed session. Make a motion to go to closed session. Second. 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 All in favor say aye. 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 Let's do this. Oh, holy night. <laughs> <laughs> oh, night. <night. laughs> <laughs> I was going to say silent night, but uh, it wasn't quite that. <laughs> it wasn't silent night. It was holy night. <laughs> It must be a different song then, huh? Yeah. 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 Can you get your earplugs? <laughs> okay, as we went in there to close session to discuss personnel matters about cannabis cards. Okay? We ran some random urines. We had three people come up dirty. One of them has a prescription card for marijuana. Um, so what we're going to decide here tonight we're going to vote on whether a kitchen cook is safety sensitive or not, and whether the janitors are safety sensitive or not. I say they're not. Some people say they are. So on that note, um, I'll, I'll make a motion. We come back in for closed session. Make a motion to come in. Second. 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 Councilor Reynolds. Yes. Councilor yes. Vasquez. Councilor yes. Cerro. Councilor Fred. Yes. Okay. Now we're back in. So I'll entertain a motion to make Cook's positions no longer safety sensitive. I make a motion that the Cooks are not safety sensitive. I second. Councilor Reynolds? Yeah. Councilor Vasquez? Yes. Councilor DeCero? Yes. Councilor Padilla? Yes. Janitors? I'll entertain a motion that janitors are not safety sensitive. I make a motion that janitors are not safety sensitive. I second. Councilor Reynolds? Yes. Councilor Vasquez? Councilor DeCero? Councilor Padilla? Yeah. Um, we would like a list of all positions that are safety sensitive, and then we'll go through them. And if there's any more that need to be brought up, we'll bring them up. Uh, on that note, comments, Laura? I don't have any. Sydney? I want everyone to have a wonderful holiday season. Manny? I'd like to address this to uh, uh, Roosevelt, a friend of Mr. Uh, Kenny Abraham. There's a spot there that I would like to see some gravel put on there. And it is a, a safety issue because people are having to walk around into the street. And You're talking about his sidewalk, right, where there's no curb in no. the whole nine yards. Well, there's a curb there, but not uh, much of it. Yeah, it's about this high, but and then it loaded away. Yeah, but some, some rock would be good. And I, I did call Laura the, other, the last day Councilor went for a minute. I came, called Laura and left her a message that it happened to me. I'd wear black coming up, coming west, steps out into the street, and I almost hit him. I was so pissed at that time. I could have I could killed that guy. Yeah. So I would like to have some rock up there. Rick, <coughs> happy holidays. Like your son. <laughs> Thank you. Fred. Happy holidays, guys. Well, I'm going to go one better. Merry Christmas. I'm going to okay. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Um, <laughs> I would like to remind everybody that as of this date, we have 41 cops that have been murdered. 
It's not including the ones that have been shot. I mean, hit by cars and stuff like that. Literally murdered. This weekend we had three. One of them in Arkansas was walked up and executed in his car while he was writing a report. Point blank rage in the face. We've only had 17 people killed in all of our wars overseas. So I'd like to stress to my police officers to be very, very careful. I mean, period. There's just no other way to put it. Balsam, uh, Manny brought it up. And I got the same complaints Manny did. So I went down there and watched too, and my wife was one of the ones that went through that speed bump. <laughs> all an ass. Okay? <laughs> so we need to fix that speed bump. Can I make a comment? I, I talked to Luis, our, our street superintendent. He said right now if we do any work, because the road's frozen. That's fine. It'll Let's just get it done when the spring comes and it's we, warm where we We've already got the pieces, and we just okay. got to wait for warmer weather. Because that, that ain't working. And it, it really made me laugh when Debbie came looking through there. <laughs> I was like, really? I called her. What are you doing? Where are you at? How, can, how about, how <laughs> about if we could change the speed limit there and lower? You know, and I'm game for anything. I'm game for lowering speed limit throughout town, especially on this main avenue right here. This one, okay. I mean, I'd like to see the main avenue there in one lane where people park on the street like this. I mean, that's what I'd like to see, slowing down to 25 miles an hour. But, but everybody here agrees with you, and it's still... Because the state doesn't. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We all agree so with maybe we need to start... Work. With Harry and Clementine. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Harry and Clementine. Okay, we're not going to have another meeting before Christmas, so like I said, Merry Christmas, guys. Our first meeting will be January 6th. Right? Is that the day that they have to declare for, declare for the election, too? Or is that the 9th? It's the 7th. It's the 7th the next day. Okay, just so everybody knows. Um, on that note, I'll entertain the motion to. Close it down. I make a motion. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 All right. Thank you guys. Very